They'll be calling you a radical. Before I go on this rant today, I want to say thanks to a bunch of girls, real environmentalists, real anti-nuclear advocates, Jules, Christine, Jan, Nuke Radio, Miss Milky the Clown, as they got into the NRC conversation. Powerful activists, and to the very few out there who stood their ground 20 years ago, fought for my father, the atomic veterans, and to all you Utahs and you dirty air fighters and you activists and you environmentalists and all of you have stood your ground. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As my whole thesis has been the passive aggressive on the left and the passive aggressive on the right are a tragedy. They are a tragedy for you are not Christians, you are not Christians on the right. On the left, as the tree hugger of the tree, if I've not offended you by now, I am failing, I am failing. This is an open letter to the NRC, to the environmentalists, to you fake radical military industrialized so-called Christians in hairspray. Look at this air, look at this air, for this is Utah, for this is Utah. And everybody says, Kevin, Kevin, why don't you leave? You can't stand as Christianity has, we are a Christian nation, a fake Christian, fake radical military just like, and we have been kidnapped. Everybody says, why don't you leave? I'll tell you why I don't leave. Why don't they leave? And to Carol Gallagher, who wrote American Ground Zero, is this really is, she stood up for my father, and she wrote that as he was nuked to death in a Nevada test site. As I did that video yesterday before I found that study on the Chernobyl workers all getting leukemia, the ones that are still alive. To you fake, phony radicals, why don't you leave? I'll tell you what, because I was here first. My family was here first. This is our place. This is our place, not yours. You, we, you passive aggressive. And to the NRC, this is an open letter to the NRC. Miss McFarland, as Jacko, the NRC, we are not against you, we are with you. You are our only hope with the NRC, as you are not the IEA, as they are the cheerleaders 1%. As Blue Castle, as the water quality lawsuits have been filed, as he was put in place, I know this factually, factually. I'm very close friends with the former state water engineer, and he told me right to my face, Kevin, we know this, we know this. This job was handed by Herbert in a handshake as he got the job on the contingency that he would approve the water. As you people here in Utah call yourselves, you're no Christians, you are no Christians, you are usury, you, you, usury. Utah, that beautiful, incredible word, Utah, Utah, that Ute Indian word, top of the mountain, top of the mountain, as Brigham Young himself, they were socialists, they were socialists, they were we, 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 as you, I, 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 you fake radicals in hairspray, you are not Christian, all over this country, yes, Christianity has been hijacked, as I put up that video with my pick line, as I live right here, I'm going in to get another bone marrow biopsy right now, in my hip. As I ran and raved about leukemia, then I get leukemia, and if you don't think the bone marrow biopsies hurt, oh, they hurt. They get up on your back and they drill into your freaking bone marrow and they dig bone marrow out. But what hurts even more is waiting for the results. Are you going to live or die? Because this is an all or nothing gig for I have AML. You dirty air polluters, you polluters. As you vote for, you are so branded red and you don't even know why you're branded red. You are not Christians. You don't stand for anything, these early Christians, these hand car pushing romantics raised me all across this country, as we are the fake Christianity nation. We are the vast masquerading marauders, mass murderers, as Marilyn in the misfits on that ancient lake floor where I got raised with those wild horses, as my father used to hate those guys that used to do that. As them ranchers, as he was nuked to death, you say they are nothing but drugstore cowboys. They are not us. They are not us. My beautiful grandmother, you say, these crazy ass cowboys theses. Very first people here, right to this square inch, as they were we, we, we. But say people would ride on their horses for miles to come put a bandana around the baby or on his thing. That's what they were. They weren't this gun toting, radical, dirty, hairy bullshit. To the NRC, the spent fuel rods are put are stored on site. Okay, okay. Ms. McFarland is put there as a gift to Harry Reid. We know this, a Mormon from here. Remember this, Harry Reid worked at Thiokol when the rocket blew up at Chandler. Right here, ATK. He's a Morphine. He's a Utah State educated guy. Right here, as you, 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 you as transformed from the top of the mountain, that beautiful word, as Brigham Young himself was very close friends with 
the Ute Indian tribe, right there on top of that temple. That angel, that angel is those other angels, those real blue and orange angels that are on my shoulder as they came to me, as they came to me. I, for, I have them on my side, those little angels. And if you don't think that's true, you have not been following this vlog along, as I was given no hope to live a year ago. No hope, no hope, as those little angels that passed in front of me, those cancer-fighting angels, they came to me. I have them with me. As the doctor told me today, Kevin, what are you going to do now? You going to go back to your teaching career? You going to go back to your derivative training career? You going to go back to your hawk and trial? I said, I don't know, but I know one thing. I have to stand up and fight for those angels who passed that little five-year-old angel who passed, as those angels were sent to me by these beautiful hand car pushing romantics. And if you don't believe that, watch those sand hill cranes fly right to me. Watch that sandpiper come to me and leave her egg. The little bird at the jetty, as they all came to me, as there were spiritual healers who joined together all over. I stood in that window right between two bricks. And last winter, they announced that Ian Anderson was coming to Bravano Hall to do his second beautiful symphony. He was going to do his number two. I marked that on my calendar, and I thought every day looking out that window, will I be alive to go? Will I be alive to go? Well, I was alive to go. By miracles, as they organized in February, and the spiritual healers, there were seances done for me in the beaches of Malaysia, in Japan, in Oregon, in Washington, in Brazil, all over the world. They said, stand by that window, as they called it, Kevin Blanche, the strongest nuclear advocate on earth is what they named it. They sent me money, they sent me vibes, they sent me love, and they healed me, and they healed me, and I overcame, and I overcame, and I am alive for now, as I have overcome the odds for now, as we are Spartacans, we are Spartacans, we are David versus Goliath, and it, it has to be that way, it has to be that way, as the early Mormons completely forgot about their Mormon socialistic roots, as they are you, you, usury, the conception of the anti-Christian, idealism. If you don't believe me, walk into a courtroom on Tuesdays in Ogden, Utah, or right here, as they have their kangaroo small claim court, and the same people are lined up, about 15 of them deep, about 15 of them deep. Boom, default judgment, boom, default judgment, as usury, 400% interest rate, buy here, pay here, it's the same group of people, the banks, Weber State Parking, one of them, they line up and as they are you, you usury, and their hairspray fake mask murdering, as in that desert, she sits in that truck, Marilyn, in the misfits in that scene and he's crying i'm an alcoholic i'm an alcoholic why because when i dropped those bombs i dropped those bombs how many butchers did i kill how many school teachers did i kill how many children did i kill for i am a coward you are cowards as you are cowards as you advocate completely asymmetric as when i was a boy and i was raised right here as breathless in zion is making an incredible documentary and they've been talking to me and saying hey kevin we want to use that video from the window coming down looking at you as you're looking out over the temple and I said go ahead but I understand as I am too radical because I tell the truth people don't want to hear the truth as my PhD post ignorance proved it with this camera as I wrote my post ignorance PhD in 2010 left it in rough form like me in rough form out of the frame like me as an artist in rough form I said first question 2,000 people who is your what is your opinion of Congress including professors and community college outcome Blah, 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 we hate them, 2,000 for 2,000. Second question, who's your congressman? As they have no idea, they are branded red, and they check the elephant. Rob Bishop, who said, right in that documentary, as you can watch it, he says, I will not sacrifice industry for clean air. Hmm. As your children die, as your children suffer from asthma, as every single one of you suffer hardcore from cancer deaths, every person in Utah got these crazy, crazy, incredible, rare forms of cancer stories. All of us, but you vote for the people who want to do this. More of it. For it is not God's will. It is not God's will. To say that it is God's will would say that men are not responsible for their actions. Men are responsible for actions. And Herbie and his handshake as he tries to pull Blue Castle. I says, why not just put up a statue of Ten Buddy on I-15 as they plowed our waters and our streams, as they freak a fluke because our EPA, they were here for one reason, because 40 other nine states will not let them in. And you call yourselves Christian, for you are not Christians. To the NRC, to the NRC, as you store those spent fuel rods, as she writes her book, says there's an ancient river under Yucca Mountain. As Yucca Mountain has sucked up all that money, as a gift to block Yucca Mountain out of Nevada. There's an ancient river, all right. It's called the jet stream, Fugos, Fugos. 
It is we, as the early Mormons were we. My ancestors were we. They were socialists. Oh yes, oh yes. You are so indoctrinated and so ignorant. As ignorance is an epidemic that has flowed over like this smoggy air that we breathe. We need to make the decision, NRC. No more. 40 years you promised us. You promised us the industrial ed, the nuclear industrialized age, 1970, you promised us. You promised us that you had a plan. You lied to us. The spent fuel rods are still sitting on site. We are a ticking time bomb. An F3, F24, F5, another Sandy comes through up one, you're gonna make this whole country uninhabitable. And if you think that's freaking fairy tale land, you are dreaming. You are drinking how much spent fuel? Oh, they say, oh, we could just remix it. Oh, yeah, that's what we do for nuclear bombs. We moxie it, we freaking empower it, we want huh, you still store it. It just lays there in pools. Okay, so here's my plan, NRC, NRC. Miss McFarland, you say, no, young, well, let's have a vote. That's what your job is, right there, your group. You stand in front of your group, and we're gonna make the decision, one of the two. We either shoot it into space, as Harry Reid was working at Thiokol when that rocket blew up, or we put it into Yucca Mountain. No more debate, no more. It's one of those decisions because this kicking the can, as Harry, oh, just keep it on site, is bullshit. So you raise of hands. How many people say put it in Yucca Mountain? How many people say shoot it into space? Just by raising hands in your little group, your little NRC group, majority wins. And we do either one. I, I agree with either one. But we have to do one of the two. We have to now. How can you continue to build? As you're freaking get, getting ready, trying to backdoor permit for Blue Castle so they can sell it the easiest way, the crown and jewel to become a billionaire in this country. As you passive aggressive so-called Christians, for you are not Christians all over this country. This is the fake. You are not. Read into purity, purity of Christianity. What is Christianity based on? The story of Jesus Christ. He threw the money lenders out of the temple, that radical. Now, he'd be viewed as some raven lunatic liberal in today's world. Where have you come across with this hairspray? Who are you? Who are you? As ignorance is an epidemic, you sure are not Christians. You are sure not the early Mormons that settled this land. Right here, look at this place. They were stewards of Mother Earth. They loved Mother Earth. Not you. You don't care. You don't care as your child suffers from asthma, as your child suffers from autism. We are the autism capital of the world. And I've proved it in my PhD is how and why. Same reason we're the cancer capital. Same reason the thyroid cancer. As I rant and rave and carry about leukemia, then I get leukemia. Same reason. 300 open air tests in Nevada and the weakest EPA laws in the country. Look at this here. Oh, that doesn't have an effect? Really? Really? As we are the autism capital of the world, one in 44, when the national average is 188, when the world's average is 132, we are the thyroid cancer capital of the world. As we are all downwinders. That freaking fallout did not stop at the Jeweb County line. But you empower this passive aggressive. As we are passive aggressive on both sides, the right radical passive aggressive, as we were taught as young Mormon boys, we were taught that your body is a temple, so true. We were also taught that life is a test. We were also taught that there would come a time in our lifetime that Christianity would be kidnapped by devils in hairspray. Well, that time is now, right here, right here, right here, all across this radical military industrialized complex that we've evolved to. As you call yourselves Christians, you are asymmetric to Christianity. You have nothing to do with Christianity. As I fight, as I offend people, as I use radical language, the only reason I haven't been using radical language the last little while is because Carol Gallagher asked me so too. And there's only four or five people on this face of this earth that I will listen to any advice. The only reason I'll listen to her advice because she stood up for my murdered father. As he was nuked to death in Nevada, as she wrote American Ground Zero, the real American Ground Zero, as Richard Miller, right here, he stood up. As Wallace Stegner stood up. As Edward Abbey stood up. Edward Abbey would be put in freaking handcuffs right next to Tim DeChristopher. As I know who put Tim DeChristopher in jail, right here. And I, can I expose who it is? No, because I'm afraid of them, because they're here. Do as I say, not as I do. Now, the first sitting senator in U.S. history to have his house foreclosed on. As I'm a fiscal responsible teabagger, and you vote, you vote for him while he's one million dollars to the bad. As his house is been, this, that's your guy, that's who you are, because you don't even know who these people are, because you check that red elephant no matter what. As these things are done behind closed doors, that's where Herbert learns his passive aggressive behavior, just like his stocking son. You're criminals, you're criminals. And to the NRC, how can you issue more permits? How can you possibly issue more when you lied to us and by law you legally have to have a plan for those store fuel, spent fuel rods? 
on site, on site. You will not restore and put integrity back into our plants. We will not force these owners to do it. You will bear the burden onto the taxpayer, and they won't even do it because they are ignorant. They are ignorant. They will spend freaking tax dollars on something that has not. They'll build bombs as they are cowards. They are cowards. There's no one in Iraq did anything to an American. I thought that was the greatest sin. Thou shalt not kill. Love them for they know not what they do. That was the people killing you. Christians, my ass. As we are breathless in Zion. And that documentary, when it comes out, I understand why you might not put that clip of mine as I stood between two bricks and I walked out of Bravin Hall and I looked up and I had no idea. And I marched that and I looked out that window and I looked up. <gasps> There's my room. Wow. There's my room. Because I was right between two bricks. We have to do something. This doing nothing. Look at it. Stay tuned.